everyone. In this video, I will show you how can you use LangChain with Azure OpenAI. So in order to get started, uh, I will be taking a very simple example wherein we will be reading a text file and we'll try to query the text file using Azure OpenAI. So let's get started with that. And the very first thing here is we need to set these few properties. So I can quickly tell you from where I have pulled all these. So the first one is the API type, which will always be Azure. Then comes the API version. So that this one, you can pick it from the documentation as it keeps changing. And then we need the key and the base URL. So for key and the base URL, you need to go to Azure portal. So this is the instance which I have already created in my previous video. And if you are not sure how to create this, I would recommend you to watch my, I guess, second video wherein I have explained all these things. Okay. So this is the instance which I have created on Azure. And what I need to do is I need to go to keys and endpoint and grab this particular key as well as the endpoint, which is mentioned at the end. So these two are the things which I am pulling it for these two variables and then comes the deployment name so deployment name is inside your OpenAI studio so you can click on this go to Azure OpenAI studio and it will open up a new window wherein we can see the list of all the deployments which we have done so far so give it a few seconds Okay, so go to deployments and here you can see all these models which I have deployed. So from here, I'm picking the deployment name, which is this particular line. So once these all are set, I will go ahead and set it in like environment variable so that I need not to go and set or pass these parameters again and again in my every API call. Okay, so the le next thing we need is we need to integrate LangChain. So it's obvious that we need to pull in the required packages for that. So I would say from LangChain, the very first thing I need is text splitter. So let's say import character text splitter because we will be using this to split our input text. And then I am going to say with like I said, this is just a basic example to demonstrate how we can integrate. But in my later videos, I will show you how can you read the text while using document loaders. So let's keep it simple by reading some text. So here I will be passing text file name and I would say text equal f dot read. So, okay, so once this is done, let me grab my file name. So this is the same file which I have taken in almost all of my videos wherein it discussed about what are the causes and effects of homelessness, why it happens and all those factors. Okay, so now we have the text. I'm going to construct a variable for text splitter. So let's name it as text splitter and then we will use character text splitter which will take parameters like chunk size what chunk size do you want so as my text is small i am just going to give five and definitely it varies based on what type of data you are taking as an input so although i don't need to chunk but let's go with it so that you will get an idea of what we are trying to achieve and then we'll say text equal to text splitter dot split text and this will take text as the input so if i will go ahead and show you what this text is so it should show only one line because like i said it's this few lines for me in the text file so this is what we have in my text file so it discuss about all these things what are the effects and all these so Next, I am going to create another cell wherein I will be working on the embedding part. So let's go ahead and import those langchain.embeddings, import openai embeddings. And another one we need is Azure OpenAI. So that is again from the langchain we need to grab LLMs, import 
Azure Open AI. Okay, and one thing, uh, two more things we need. The one thing is for uh, retrieval QA because we are going to deal with questions and answers. So let's create chains and say import retrieval QA. Okay, and for vector store, I am again going with Chroma as always. So let's say import Chroma. Okay, so we are done with all our imports. Next thing is uh, we need to create embedding. So let's create a variable embeddings and it will just instantiate this with OpenAI embeddings. Then we will say create vector store for me. So it is through Chroma. So Chroma dot from text. Let's see. Okay. And here it takes two parameters. The first one is the text for which you want to generate. And then we need the embeddings. What kind of embedding do you want to generate? So here we are going with OpenAI embeddings. So once embeddings are done, next thing we need is to construct the chain for our retrieval QA which in which we will be supplying what is our LLM, what is our engine or how we want to stuff our data. So let's create a variable name chain and I would say retrieval QA dot from and let's see intelligence and here I would say LLM equal to Azure OpenAI. This is what we are going to use and here you need to explicitly pass your engine. So inside this I will say engine and here engine would be text DaVinci 002 definitely it would vary based on what model you are using and then I would say retriever retriever equal to vector store which we just created above and we'll say as retriever and the final thing we need is how do we want to push in our data to this OpenAI model so we'll say uh, to Azure OpenAI so we'll say just stuff it because this data is not that used otherwise we would have uh, went for refine or map reduce but in this case let's stick to stuff I would love to run this before going ahead let's see okay so looking like we are all good till here next thing is we need to decide what you want to query so I would say where does homeless person stays okay this is the question which we want to get it answered from the document and then we'll say to chain that just run my query i believe it should work let's give it a try okay so we got a response we got a response that a homeless person's home is either in shelters or in the streets so this is how you can integrate your Azure OpenAI and LangChain. And this is just a very simple base scenario, but you can definitely extend it to whatever level you want. But I believe it gave you a pretty much idea like how you can go ahead and make things work. So if you'll notice this entire code, nothing fancy we are doing it is almost like the same code which we did earlier but the only change here is the configuration how we are supplying the configuration how we are pulling in Azure details and passing it to LangChain so that's all what I want to demonstrate here so I hope you enjoyed watching this video and make sure to give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are watching this for the very first time thanks for watching